If you're like I am, you've probably been frustrated at times by the inability of your floor model drill press or even a bench drill press to do all the things that you wanted it to be able to do simply because it lacked variable speed or it didn't have some feature you wanted. So despite this nice 20 inch jet that I have and the nice procuniere tapping device and the vise for holding work and everything else, what I really wanted and thought I needed was a floor, floor model drill press that would run at continuously variable speeds from zero to say a thousand RPM and without stopping to change belts and with enough muscle to do the job whether it was drilling five eighths inch holes or tapping half inch holes or whatever well I didn't want to mess around with my good 20 inch jet and have it out of service for a while or possibly modify it so it couldn't be returned to its original state if things didn't work out. So what I did instead was to procure a fairly worn out old 17 inch jet floor model drill press. You can see from the tag that it's a 16 speed 17 inch swing with a 5 8 chuck and an MT2 spindle. The model is OR1758F. It's probably 25 years old. I got it cheap. It needed some fixing up, but I took care of enough of the fixing and their general repairs to modify it as I wanted. And now I have, thanks to a friend who gave me a DC motor from a treadmill, and the controls for the DC motor, including the rheostat, a way to go in my shop and create DC power out of an AC plug-in by virtue of the controls that I adapted from the treadmill. Controls are in this box, and though the project isn't quite done, you can see that it works. Simply turn the Turn it on. I have the motor working. And by changing the rheostat, I can move the speed to whatever setting I wish for the job that needs to be done. It has the advantage of never having to change belts. Turns out love isn't really never having to say you're sorry. For a shop guy, love is never having to change belts on your grill press.